Good morning, people watching in 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. People get the impression that there's something they have to do in order to get saved. And the fact of the matter is, Christ already did it at the cross by shedding his blood for your sins. There's nothing we can do. Nothing that there's, it, it, you can't, we didn't earn grace and we didn't earn salvation. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe will not perish but have eternal life. That's the only gospel. That's the only gospel. There is no other gospel. It is believing in what Christ already did at the cross. You didn't earn it. You don't deserve it. None of us do. Once you come to the end of yourself and accept Christ as Savior, put your faith and trust in Him, admit you're a sinner, in need of a Savior, and it's only one, the Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, and the Holy Spirit will change you. That's the simple gospel. People think that they have to do something. They have to keep doing something. They don't rest in the Lord. It's called resting in the Lord. It's, the gospel is simple. Believe. The thief on the cross had one thing in, com in, uh, in common with all of us. He wasn't saved until he asked the Lord, Will you remember me in your kingdom? He was still a thief. But he recognized who was uh, being hung next to him. He believed. Period. People make this thing so complicated. They have nothing better to do than to come on grace channels like this one and aggravate everybody to death or try to. And it's, it's just wrong. But it's okay. Because one day, God will deal with them. I got to give you this. This is, uh, and the reason why I put a lot of emphasis on Russia is because it's in the Bible. Ezekiel 38, 39 talks about Russia or Rosh. This came out from Hal Turner and someone sent this to me and I had saw it before she sent it to me. Bulletin, Moscow, listen to this declares it will not allow citizens in Donbass to be killed by lethal weapons given to Ukraine by NATO. So, like I said, this just gave the go-ahead for Russia, gave even more of a go-ahead to invade. So apparently invoking the international law responsibility to protect Moscow early this morning, this evening over there now, Moscow early this morning, issued a statement saying Moscow will not allow its citizens to be killed in Donbass. All measures of international law will be applied to protect Russian citizens against deadly weapons brought by NATO and Kiev forces. This is literally priceless because Russia is using the weapons supplied by NATO as a pretext for a responsibility to protect the Russians in Donbass. As a matter of international law, NATO basically slit its own throat by providing so much lethal weaponry and doing so publicly. So NATO was fully aware that Ukraine was sending most of that weaponry to the line of control at the Donbass, which is where all those 500,000 plus Russian citizens reside. 
Now, what's going to happen now? Russia has a legal means by which to justify entry into Ukraine with this military. Responsibility to protect. They may actually commence military entry today. The amateurs in the Biden, Sleepy Joe, Creepy Joe regime, doofus regime, are about to find out how they, how their lack of experience, ignorance of history, and arrogant presumption has now backfired completely. And it has. Right here. Now, I got another article, but I can't... I, I can try to put it up, but it's in, it's from Athens, and there's a bar where you can translate it into English. Now, so I've tried to do this before, and people have said they don't have the bar. It's right there. I mean, you can translate it through Google, so it is right there. I will um, try to put this in the description box as well. But like I said, it's in Greek, so you have to translate it to English. And there is a bar on the upper corner that allows you to do that. There will be an invasion, and it could be today. Because of the stupidity of NATO and the U.S. So there you go right there. I'm going to link both of these in the description box, um, folks. Something is about to happen. I don't know with this or with the rapture or something. We have another winter advisory in effect. So again, this stops me from going to my second earthly home. You know where that is. Um, <clears throat> I thank you for your support. I thank you for your prayers. I thank you. I pray for you guys. I pray for this ministry. Um, this is a full-time thing for me, and God has blessed me with it. So, again, I thank you for your support. I'm going to keep track of this because this is important because, you know, people can say, oh, well, you know, we're getting kind of sick of hearing about, no, you don't get sick of hearing about this because this is, <laughs> this is important. It's biblical. And I'm going to keep track of it. So if anything else comes up, I will let you know. I will try to put that article from War News in the description box. Like I said, it's in Greek. So you got to translate it. But it comes to me every, it's like they're sending me stuff every hour. So I will be back with the next video. Thank you.